with the significant cuts that we've saw, seen uh, affecting USAID, Francis, are you concerned about the global impact uh, those cuts will have on diseases all over the world, not to mention the U.S. standing in the world? I'm somebody who's had a lifelong interest in, in global health. Uh, I think the whole planet is something we need to think about, even if we're going to be focused on ourselves, what's going on in the rest of the world gets to us really quickly. We saw that with COVID. Uh, we saw that almost with Ebola. So if you really are serious about health, you have to be concerned about the rest of the world. USAID was a central part of how the United States reached out to countries with less resources to help them with terrible diseases like HIV, like tuberculosis, like malaria, won us a lot of friends in that regard, put in place the kind of surveillance to be able to detect something going awry with some new emerging disease that we would really want to get on top of very quickly. Uh, to have all of those resources uh, basically zeroed out was a shock coming so quickly uh, after the new administration arrived. And I think has caused a lot of countries to wonder about who they thought they were going to depend on uh, to be sort of a soft power neighbor and now doesn't seem to be so interested in that anymore. NIH is the largest supporter of research in global health uh, in the world, or we have been, even more than the Gates Foundation. And yet that is also very much now at risk. I think just for, even if it's just for self-preservation, we need to be involved in global health efforts. But more than that, I think most of us have somewhere deep down a desire to try to help those who are less fortunate. That's part of how we're put together. That's part of our moral compass. And to step away from that uh, and basically to say that's not our problem anymore doesn't quite feel like the kind of America that I thought we were. And I do hope that as some more serious consideration goes to the consequences here, that some of that outreach uh, can be preserved. 